before she leave, I'ma need my shirt back. <laughs> guys it's your girl Kara Ash and I am back with another YouTube video for you guys today welcome welcome back to my channel if you're new hi hello welcome but if you're returning then welcome back so you guys in today's video we're gonna be talking about how I met this guy to me y'all and like I gotta tell y'all what happened cuz like yeah but before we get into this video don't mad me like I'm gonna get my hair done stuff your girl gonna get it together and so stay tuned for that video but i'm in the car and i'm gonna just tell y'all about literally what happened my son in the back and he's quiet for now and hopefully y'all can hear me over this rain but i just gotta let y'all but yeah um i just gotta let y'all know because like i really want to talk about it and i don't want to be the only one to know about like what happened before we get into this video make sure you like comment and subscribe to my channel for future content like this if you like seeing what i do if you like seeing what i post because we live over here period so make sure i subscribe because y'all won't regret it um excuse the steering wheel this is the only little setup i got right now so we're gonna make it do what it do but y'all so with that further ado let's go ahead and get straight to the video yeah i'm gonna try to look at the camera because i keep looking at myself and i'm trying to look at the camera but, okay y'all so and excuse my broken nail i'm going to get it fixed so mind your business but y'all, so basically to start off this story time or whatever, I met this guy on Tinder. And yeah, I said Tinder. And it's like, I keep meet, meeting like these weirdos and stuff like that. So it's like, I don't know why I still got the app. Actually, I don't got the app. I deleted the app. I deleted the app because it's just like I'm steady meeting crazy people. And no offense to the people that's on Tinder, like no offense to y'all but it's just like me i just keep being like the same type of people so i met this guy off tinder or whatever and basically like <laughs> it was actually going pretty well like before the guys that i used to talk to literally like you could tell they only wanted sex and that was about it but i feel like with him it was different what's wrong dude but with him, I just feel like it was different. I feel like the vibe was different. Him, like, approaching me was just completely different. Like, it was like, okay, like, I'm going to give him a chance because it's nothing like, you know, the other conversations that I had with other guys. Like, it was different. So, basically, um, we were talking. Yeah, I'm going to tell y'all dates and details and all that. So, we were talking. We started, well, he asked me the first time was, like, January said like january 27th or something like that it was close close to the end of january and um we was talking we were tending all we was getting to know each other he was like do you got questions for me blah 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 you know stuff like that like what's your name favorite color what you like to eat um stuff like that we was talking about like cereal versus milk or like do you put your milk first stuff like that he's talking about that type of stuff and i was like okay cool like the vibe is just different he finally, so after like weeks of talking, he finally asked for my number like February 3rd, I believe. And I'm like, it took you long enough, you know, because I'm used to guys just like instantly right off back. What's your number? Let me text you. Let me call you. So like I said with him, it was just different because I was like, he hasn't asked for my number. Like he hasn't pressured me to, I've not pressured me to get on my number, but it was just like, you know, it probably could have potentially went somewhere because I'm just like, this is different. So, he finally got my number. We FaceTimed that exact night. The same day he got my number. Uh, we FaceTimed. And I was, of course, nervous. Because I'm like... Face, first face, the first FaceTime call is like always just crazy. Like, you get anxiety anxious. Like, all that. So, yeah, we had FaceTime. We um, hit it off. And, you know, that would happen. We talked and got to know each other some more. And stuff like that. We, um still was talking and i think like a couple of days later y'all we had went on a date i think february 6th we um uh, we went on a date man y'all he got my number february 3rd and like a couple days later like i said he got we got a date we went on a date so okay like you take your your girl out like you putting effort for your girl and i'm like all right bet like this is cool or whatever so on the day we had went to see spider-man like what is called no way home which was really good and we had went to um white this place called white palace 
So I did a I did a, a video on that. So it was get ready with me day night. So make sure I go watch that. He's so dramatic, but um, yeah, we had went there and did that. So make sure I go check out that video. I'll put it in the link. Um, but yeah, I had did like a little day night video, or whatever. So we had actually. When we got home, we talked about it, like, you know, it was just stuff that I wasn't used to, so it was kind of like, have you made it home yet? Did you get in? Are you safe? You good? Stuff like that. And I'm like, oh, okay, like, this man is, like, actually different. He's decent. Because I'm like, you asked me, am I safe? Am I good? Like, what? We actually went out. On, I'm going to just skip that part. So, we actually went out on six dates. Yeah, we went out on six dates, like, no sex, no nothing. Like, it was just good vibes when i tell y'all good vibes it was just literally good vibes like um i appreciated him like took me on a date like he spent money on me he actually got my nails done which is these so they've been on for a minute and it's time to go to the nail shop the um i'm gonna tell y'all like briefly so in between the dates we i mean like in between that time like i said we went on um six days and we was like getting to know each other we went to the spa we went to uh, round one. Where did we go? To Buffalo Wild Wings. Like, we was always, like, eating and stuff. Like, I feel like this was the craziest thing because he was feeding me. And when I, I cannot stress this enough, it was literally good times, bro. I'm going to just, like I said, fast forward. Um, we actually went, the last day we had was him, him taking me to the nail shop. He took me to the nail shop and he got, he paid for my nails, he got my nails done. So, after that, it was kind of like, you know when somebody vibe is just off because you know you going from talking to that person every day, all day, calling, uh, you on the phone with them at night, yeah, like I said, it's just like a good old time and to that person just slowly texting back and not um hitting you up throughout the day like it'll go from it went from good morning we talked uh a couple like two or three hours later hit me up again stuff like that and then it went to good morning i won't hear from this man the whole day and yeah like it was just literally like a good morning text like that was it and then the next day is a good morning. And I finally text, like, there a problem. Like, she's your girl pack her bags because I'm not understanding. Like, we were good. And all of a sudden, all, and all of a sudden, it was just like, you just text me good morning. And that was it. Like, it's like, what's going on? Because I really want to know. Because, like I said, I was, well, me personally, I was having a good old time. So, I can't say the same thing for him. But me personally, I was having a good time. And so, like I said, I hit him up and I was just like, you know, should I pack my bags? Because you're not telling me how you feel or whatever. Man, y'all, we had already had conversations about what each other did not like. So, like, we both didn't like lack of communication. We wanted to be talked to. Your girl need reassurance. Um, stuff like that. So, we had already went over these things. So, for you to say that you didn't like lack of commit you didn't like lack of communication and then you giving me lack of communication was just like, are you serious right now? Because... You telling me you don't like something, but that's how you treating me. And your girl won't go on. So, yeah, like I said, I hit him up. And the next morning, well, I hit him, hit him up like 9 o'clock, y'all. And the next morning, at 6 o'clock in the morning, he was just like, um, you let your insecurities get the best of you and your friends or whatever. And I'm just like, no. Like, me personally, like I said, I like reassurance. So, I'm like, instead of you reassuring me, reassuring me and be like okay you know it's not like that maybe i'm just going through something stuff like that like you instantly just stopped texting me i was getting just a good morning a very much dry good morning and then it was kind of like the end of that and i'm just like this is this is not right like something's wrong so you let your friends influence you and your insecurities get the best of you and i'm like everybody has insecurities so the fact that i see right now that she, when I'm insecure about something or there's an issue about something that you're just going to be like, okay, well, why do you have insecurities? Like, you know, and I'm going to tell y'all this. So if a guy has a, a male, I mean, if a guy has a female best friend, that is automatically a red flag. Let me tell y'all why, because that is why I feel like this situation, I mean, yeah, the situation that I was in did not work out because 
I felt some type of way about him having a female best friend. Now, mind you, if you saying that y'all don't like each other, y'all never had sex, y'all never did this, y'all never did that, why was it so hard for you to be like, you know, um, it's nothing, you know, but I feel like it was something because you instantly cut me off. Like, you cut me off because I said I didn't like you having a female best friend. And if that ain't the biggest red flag, like, literally, like, flashing lights, then I don't know what is because you telling me that it's this and then you doing another thing. You telling me, like, you know, it's nothing, but then y'all got a date Saturday. And I'm just like, you got a date Saturday? And man, y'all, prior to this, we was going out, like, every weekend, like, every weekend. And it's, like, so come up, coming up, like, you have a date with your, your girl best friend. What about me? But, yeah, yeah, I told him, like, you know, I'm not feeling a girl best friend thing or whatever. Because if you know, you know. Excuse me. But I'm like, if you know, you know. I got to hurry up, y'all, because my baby ain't cranky. But I'm just like, that is not something that's right with me. So, like I said, instead of you... You know, re reassuring your girl, like, it's not like that. You actually made me feel like it's like that because, oh, um, yeah, he told me he was like, I cut people off from my girl best friend. Excuse me? Like, you're cutting me off because you have a girl best friend, meaning it's only telling me one or two things that it's more than what you say it is. Like, period, point blank, it's more than what you say it is because why are you cutting me off? Because that's just something that I feel like I'm not comfortable with. So, yeah, y'all, that was that. And I was just like, that's crazy. So, I feel like that's only, honestly one of the reasons why it did end. Because um, me not being comfortable with him having a girl best friend. And that's the reason why I wasn't comfortable with him having a girl best friend. Because look what happened. And then you tried to blame it on me having insecurities. Like, I'm sure every girl you get with is going to have insecurities. Like, what's the problem? But... Yeah, yeah, I just feel like me and people off Tinder is like the worst thing because when I tell y'all, it was going extremely good on my end. Like, extremely good. Like, I was in the days. I'm like, this man spending money on me within this month and a half. And I'm just like, for you to end it like that, it's like, this is what you do. You just spend money on girls and then you just 